The Moors used to say, well, you know, we're not Africans because uh, that term derives from Scipio Africanus. So uh, that's their argument uh, no, as to why. Did, no. Yeah, I, did, I don't. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it did. Indeed. Indeed. He, he renamed himself. He called himself after, that. After right, he named yes. himself after Africa. Yes. Yeah, after a victory. But, but. Um, it's like Germanicus Tacitus. Mm -hmm. He named himself as what you would call Germany because he conquered. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Yes, yes, and you know, but this is the kind of thing that you know they're they're they're, they're avoiding. It's convenient for them to avoid that, you know. So they have that talk. Well, on. They, I mean, prey they, on they prey on ignorance. They prey on ignorance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, I mean, they, their purpose, like you said, some people have a, an agenda. Their purpose is for for them to say, you know, we're not Africans. You know, we are Moors and whatever. So um, that that's that's the first thing. Might we, well, just stick you to know the great what? Test. If we were talking about, if we were speaking about the rulers of West Africa, you would have somebody come forward and say prove you from west africa mm. <laughs> yeah you yeah know what i'm saying like like prove you from west africa yeah, you're yeah. egyptian you're not west yeah. african mm. it's only in our communities because we allow it mm. see whenever you hear somebody trying to debate which these guys take the wwf uh stances in these debates Whenever you hear these guys doing all that talk, and then somebody doesn't want to debate, oh, you're afraid, your mama ain't nothing. It's like the community should just be banning this. Like, yo, man, we don't need you. No, thank you. To me, the God in peace and war times, we just listened to Mr. Chris speak about how the conscious community is like the WWF and that those type of debates should be banned by the community and you know i agree the conscious community which is this digital online uh matrix which sits at the under the streets underground like the movie was with all the grime and grit and people with glasses on connected to the computer thinking that they in the real world right he said he's a that the, the stuff like that should be banned in the community and it's funny you know this interview was what 2021 20, or whatever i think um and he goes and switches and go right to the black vince mcmahon and that's the guy who is the uh the owner of um the wwf and this is what Sarnetta is. Sarnetta is the black Vince McMahon. And so this shows you that um, this individual does not uh, stand on what he says. He he just talking to be talking. I recognize this energy uh, very much so. And that he just says whatever is clever at the time. He, he He's a switch hitter. And because if you stand on morals and principles and you see the damage that uh, Sarnetta has done, who's pretty much the ringleader um, of pitting black people against each other. Remember, Sarnetta is not kinky head, so he's part black. So his, his, his nature of being part uh, of our race, his negative anti us is what shows, remember, it's not about what a person says all the time, but you can always look at what a person does. So like he said, we talking about, he said, according to himself, the WWF type debate should be banned by the people. Now let's look, let's look over here. Look at it, look what I put at the top. I typed in conscious community wars. And when you come down here, what do we see? What do we see? Look at the first thing that come up. Son Nettle versus Hassan Campbell, the face-off, two years ago. 
What else we got down here? Brother Polite versus Young Pharaoh. Revenge of the Trannies. Sarnetta versus Brother Polite. Three years ago. Sarnetta versus Hassan Campbell. The saga continues. You can just look at the look at the titles. Tariq Nasheed versus Michi X. See, Sarnetta set the template for all of this. Nature Boy versus Young Pharaoh. And let's not forget Nature Boy who is a self-appointed cult leader who was ran out at least two, three countries plus uh plus uh Hawaii. He was passing around uh herpes. He was making black African woolly haired women fight each other on a beach. Right? Getting bloodied up. And he was passing out herpes like feeder kid. Right? We knew all of this stuff. Scam hundreds and thousands of dollars out of his followers. Made a video that said that after he have after he get through having sex with his woman, he roll over and let his son play with his penis. All of this came out of his own mouth. And the craziest thing is, after all of this, Sarnetta had this man in his apartment more than once. So you can't say not only was he a pedophile, he also uh, was a was a gay stripper. He got a video on him being uh, getting a pap smear on Pornhub by a white man as part of the little um, role plan that they do. You see, he did all these nasty things, right? And was right on Sarnetta. Now watch this. We're just gonna do a quick, a quick look, real quick, because see, with my art forever, aka Shaka and Dugu, says what he says about pedophiles and 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 being a pedophile platform, which is what Sarnetta is. It's true. Watch this. We're just gonna, you know. Cause nobody has to lie. See, they lie over there. Nobody has to lie over here. See? Sarnetta versus Nature Boy. See, look, here you go right here. Look at that. Nature Boy, aka Chief, talk about how him and Young Pharaoh fell out. Look at Nature Boy. Right, pedophile. Look, he chilling out with uh, with Mister 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 Egypt himself, Mister uh Jabari, who claimed that you couldn't get into to Egypt except by way of him. He done turned this stuff into the Jesus Christ of Egypt. He telling you, you can't even uh get on a plane and chart your way to Africa without him. Y'all remember this right here? Nature boy had a tranny. Right there in the, in the back right there That was a man Dressed as a woman Y'all forgot about that? See look That's a that's a whole That's a whole man over there Everybody knew about this But because Sonetta don't care About how We look As a people That's why it's easy But this right here is a, is a man or a tranny. Look how happy he look. Look how happy a nature boy look. He got everything that he wanted. He got the men over here following his lead. The females over here fighting. Look at look at these. Look at this. This is what he likes. And that's that's them. But again, you got all these type of leaders that's in front of us. They all are misleaders. And he been on Sonetta platform. At least three times after he didn't beat women and send them back home 
with herpes as a consolation prize. But nobody checked them for that. So when somebody calls the HOK a pedo platform plus, because it ain't just that. We talking about woman beaters, scammers, rapists, thieves, murderers. You got all that at the HOK. And the only ones who's guilty are the ones that keep allowing it. And on top of that, what type of man would have this type of people around his family and his kids? Thunder had all these child touchers and killers and rapists around his kids. Now you want to talk about my aunt having his daughter sitting on his lap, which is what um, parents do, male and female. But nowhere have I've seen my aunt have all of these criminals around his children. What type of man is Sarnetta to have all of these people that we have actual facts on? You had all these people in your house around your kids. Sarnetta has no moral right to talk about nobody. But because y'all are under the spell of ignorance and religion, it's why y'all let this stuff happen. But Mr. Chris... Another Johnny come lately, and again, this is nothing personal, but because you've shown what side you're really on, shows that you're not grounded, sir, and that you will go wherever the wind blows for your own ego. This is the problem with most of the people in our race. We see the buffoonery, and we just engage in the buffoonery more and more and more and more and you have more than enough examples mr chris to see this foolishness and y'all still allowed where well, you allowed yourself to go over there after all of this and if you still caping for sonetta after this video hit the airwaves then you should also be la labeled a pedophile pedo platform supporter and you sir definitely should be put the, the, the red light on as suspect yourself once again I'm not accusing you of but I'm definitely accusing you by using your own verbiage you convicted your own self and that you don't care about pedophiles or people that support them because everything you just said I showed you that you went to the actual place that they gave all of these people a start nature boy didn't get a start from Sonetta but he gave him a boost after that man got kicked out of Costa Rica came back to America and went right over there to Sonetta got charged up Look how this man looking at uh, Look how these two looking at each other Again This 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 is what Sarnetta likes Look 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 at him Look at him Look how they looking at each other Mr. Chris You really need to get yourself together ASAP Because right after this video Ain't nothing else you can say True me to calm the peace of Get out of here can you please provide some scholastic value to the conversation, not just an argument telling us why you don't like it? You know what I'm saying? That's what I always tell people. Anytime I speak to someone, I'll come with sources such as with American Dream. Uh, American Dream, you calling yourself American is inherently calling yourself white. Because America was e being American was equated to whiteness. So 
I don't have to argue with you about it. It's a done deal. When I did my DNA back when I was a Hebrew, I was like, oh man, I can't wait. Man, 86% was African. Man, 86% was African. Man, 86% was African. <laughs> shit. Reality check. <laughs> I was like, shit. You know, I'm like, that, and I still claim that Hebrew shit for like another year. Oh, that's because all the Hebrews, but in your mind, because of what you've been taught, oh, that's because all the Hebrews went to West Africa. Right? Indoctrination is very strong. Yeah. It's very strong. Mm. It's a strong delusion once you're indoctrinated. You're not trying to listen to anything anyone else has to say. Because you've been indoctrinated. You understand what I'm saying, Brother Saka? You know, um, I mean, if you want to have a conversation, let's do that. But you yeah. first have to tell everybody that you stated it and you said it. We call ourselves Africans because of slavery, what slavery did to us. That made absolutely no sense. That made absolutely no sense. And where were you getting at when you said that? I'm not going to have some circular argument with you. When you call yourself American, when you call yourself American, you are inherently calling yourself white because American was in equated to whiteness. That's the problem. Now, am I a patriotic person? Yes, I'm patriotic because I love my people over here in this country. And this goddamn country was not a democracy until black people fought for it and made it one. You will not find our story in any other history of the world where the serfdom people became equal with the people who oppressed them you're not gonna find it you won't find it anywhere most of it is found in myth you're not gonna find it i i challenge anybody on that in history my ancestors built this country so i'm gonna honor their work efforts and i'm gonna always continue to be the best african that i can be over here in america okay so from what we heard by Mr. Chris' own verbiage, he said he's going to be the best African that he can be in this country. So, by his own admittance, he's saying he is an African unapologetically. He's a proud African, correct? He said he's a proud Africa. So my question is if you such a proud African then why are you over there in the house of consciousness? Let me deal with that. That's the problem. All y'all niggas running around thinking y'all African. Y'all don't know nothing about no fucking African. I'm not 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 no fucking African. Number one. That's our never talk. Go ahead. That's not another. Yeah, this is never talking. I'm not going to talk. Y'all listen to this. None of you niggas know nothing about it. Oh, oh, oh. Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking. Let me finish talking. No, 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 no. Everybody be quiet. Hold on. You know I'm the fuck out of here. Hold on. 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 I want well, you niggas it. know nothing about no African. Y'all can claim Africa all you want. Them niggas look at y'all like a piece of shit. So y'all keep on saying we African. What the fuck does that mean? No, like it, Ain't no such thing as that. I'm African. 